Holy moly, I'd totally watch that cartoon show, Saturday mornings. You know me. Anyways, hello everyone! Remember back when I did that one vote thing? Where I was like, hey, what game do you guys want to see me play? Well, oh shit, I don't want to watch the intro again. That wasn't very long. I'm going to press start or the X button right now. Um, oh god, we're jumping right into a new game. I don't even get to decide anything. Holy shit, hold on. Hold on, the game's going to start. But we're playing Tomba. We're playing Tomba. That was the most abrupt, ridiculous intro ever. More cutscene? Oh god, here we go. Hold on. It's not just the opening intro again, is it? It doesn't seem like it. He didn't Tarzan in the opening scene. Okay. Hey! You with the pink hair. Who, me? I never seen you around here before. I used to live here, but it's changed so much. Well, if you need any info, go to Small Hut on top of that hill up ahead. This crazy old geezer lives up there, but he should be able to help you out. Before you go, be sure to check all the signs on the way. The local visitors bureau did a great job of supplying help with info for visitors. To read the signs, press up on the directional button and the is that a square? I guess that's a square. I don't know. Is that a circle or a square? It's hard to say. It's probably a circle. It's kind of reddish. By the way, who's with that pink hair anyway? Never mind. I don't want to know. See you. Later. The hundred year old wise man. Okay. So, wow. All right. We're learning. I can do that. I can jump and dive bomb. That's fun. I can press triangle and that goes to a menu, I guess, with blackjack and normal pants. Okay. Uh, this is such an abrupt abrupt start to a video, I know, and it's a new Let's Play and everything. So all I was trying to say in the opening there before I got interrupted by the fucking uh, video trying to start over and over again is that, uh, remember back in February when I had y'all vote for the next game you want to see me play? Well, technically Digital Devil Saga won, but Tomba technically got like a tie for first place. And I've already explained why we're not doing Digital Devil Saga quite yet, <coughs> Persona 5. But, I did say we were going to play Tomba. I just wanted to wait until it felt like the right time to play it. And all of a sudden, today is that day. Anyway, we're riding pigs! We're throwing pigs, we're riding them. So, I should probably uh, give you a little background on what I know about this game before we get uh, too deep into this. First of all, can I interact with any of this stuff? Okay, up in circle, he said? Oh, it is, it is up in square, so that was a square. To whom it may concern, please stop stealing my mail. If you continue your villainous acts, I cannot be responsible for what might happen. Best regards, Mansion Proprietor. Well, you know what? Fuck your mail, I want it. I don't know how you take his mail, I guess you can't. The Village of All Beginnings. Save data? Sure. Well, that was fast. We're already saving data. Cool. Um. So let's start by talking about what I know about this game. So back when I used to play on my PSP all the time and I used to try out all sorts of PS1 games I missed out on back in the day, um, this was one of the games I actually started to try to play, but I remember not being able to get into it very much at the time. Oh, okay, here we go. Nice. Uh, I just, I remember not being able to get into it. Not necessarily because I thought it was bad, but just at the time when I was trying it out, you can swing while you hang from a tree branch. Press and hold L, uh, left or right. Deep pad to swing. Swing in opposite direction. Hold the opposite direction to the opposite. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I think I get it. I'm trying to land on these pigs, though. Fucking pigs. Uh, okay, I'm trying to figure out the buttons here. Okay, and you need a cherry for health. Um, yeah, but this is one of those games I just... I, for some reason at the time, I just couldn't get into it. So, I just never got very far. So... Yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. But it's definitely one of those classic PS1 games. This is a PS1 game for those of you who don't know. Um, it's definitely one of those classic games. Oh, press the X button to jump while holding a direction. Got it. The length of the time you press the button determines the distance of the jump, not the timing. Oh, so it's the holding the button, not the timing. Oh, okay. That's actually nice to know. It's not the timing, it's the holding. Um, but anyway, this is one of those games that's classic. I always used to see it on the front of the Game Informer magazine that I had. Um, Tomba 1 and Tomba 2. And uh, I just never really got into it, like I said. I, just never, I never played it back when I was younger, and I never got into it when I tried it. 
Branch swings. Jump and grab the tree branch while hanging. Blah, blah, blah. We just read this. Okay, we're good. Okay, so this stuff seems to be holding me back from being able to jump higher. I want to hang on to this butt plant. See this butt plant? It's so buddy. Whee! Boing! This is very interesting. They haven't even told me how to, like, fuck these pig guys up yet, but I already figured it out, kind of. It's very interesting. So anyway, yeah, we're kind of just thrusting myself into this. It's kind of like a platform adventure game. That's how I can best describe it. Um, kind of almost Metroid-y in, in that regard, but not less, you know, less sci-fi and guns and more adventure. <laughs> anyway, exercise routine two, wall climbs. Press up on the D-pad and X to jump back. Oh, oh. Climb up the wall to explore the background area. To return to the start position, just do the opposite. So if I, so if I, how do I, oh, 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 oh hold on. Oh, heading off to the old man's hut already? Unfortunately, the fog is so thick up ahead that you can't see a thing. Looks like we'll have to turn around. Do you dye your hair, or is it naturally pink? Uh, never mind. If only I had my nature to survive this. Oh, man. My TV's doing that thing where it, where the screen goes black. Hold on a second. <laughs> my nature survival this mail order catalog. I'm sure there was there would be something I could order out of there to get rid of this fog. I was sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh well. Bye. So nature catalog has something to get rid of the fog. That's what this purple shit is. This is the fog. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's thick. That's thick. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Kia. We know how to throw pigs, I can tell you that. So we can jump into the background, huh? Interesting. Okay, so that's where the... Whoa! Clear the fog. Okay, that's the goal. The fog. Okay, so the purple stuff's not necessarily the fog. That's the fog. Use an item to blow the fog away. Something windy just might do the trick. Okay, well, I don't think I have said windiness. So instead, I'm going to murder a bird. And hump his egg. Hump that egg. Or crack it open. Yo, I got a... Uh... Yo, I got a chick. I acquired a chick, guys. Did you see that? I acquired it. Oh, hey, you, you fucking pig. You fucking pig. Get out of here. Alright, what's it say? Exercise routine three. Weapon workout. Hold down the circle button. That definitely looks like a circle this time. To swing your weapon. If you swing your weapon really fast, the attack will be more powerful. Oh, yeah? Oh, if you hold it down. Right. So can I... Does this actually make you go higher? I don't know. I want that fucking treasure chest that's up there, though. I definitely want that if I can get to it. I want to get that treasure. I want that treasure. Want it. Give me. Okay, we're in there. Um. Oh, I humped the treasure. Of course it is. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so you have to hump things to open it. It's kind of weird. Oh, or not just open it, but like interact with them. Enemies, you have to jump on their head and hump them. Very odd. Very odd and very satisfying, actually. Very awkward. Alright, well, we're going back this way. I'm gonna take your mail, bitch. I said don't take his mail, but I'm taking it. Wait, what? What? Wind? Whoa, 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 what's happening? Furious tornado acquired? Furious tornado? Can I see what that is in the menu? Just gonna find out. Uh, this item? No. View. Fierce tornado that can blow anything away. Uh, I don't know. How about fog? A newly hatched chirping chick. Okay. Good to know. I didn't actually know we were gonna get the wind from his mailbox. Can we go to the left here? I wonder if there's like an indicator so you know like how what what screens you can actually like like uh, go left and right on. There must be like obvious indicators for that kind of stuff. Anyway, I want to go back over here and see if we can go in this house. I don't think we can, but I'm going to check. There's also stuff up in the trees. Looks like maybe some of these. Some of these yeah, some of these fruits. Las frutas. Take them. Can I go to this house? Alright, well, let me go up. But dude's probably going to be mad that I uh, took his goddamn wind. Took it out. He took his wind out of his mailbox. He's going to be mad about it. I don't give a fuck. Alright, so. Do I just go into the menu and use it? Is there. Use item. Does it work? Used Furious Tornado. It's a very Castlevania 2 kind of thing going on here, huh? Wow, look at those graphics, though. I probably would have loved this as a kid. 
I kind of wish I would have played it back then instead of trying to play this when I was already in like college or whatever when I was trying to when I tried this game for the first time. It's a whole new world, guys. Are you ready to explore it? Clear the fog. Has been cleared. Wow, what an adventure. Um, okay, cool. Sounds good. Uh, also, that does not sound good. Okay, let's go back into the foreground if we could. Um, can we just hop over this shit? I'm assuming we can just hop over this shit. No? Okay. Can I just press down here and... Like, how do I get back into the foreground here? Oh, from here. Okay. Cool. Uh, oh god, I'm supposed to jump over there? Uh oh. Okay, cool. We're in there. Oh, okay, we can hold on to either side of this. Interesting. Cool. Can I go in the background here? Yo, I can. Cool. I want to get this pig. This pig looks like he wants to fight. Oh, God. I don't know if I actually want to be here. I don't think I want to be here. I lied. I lied to everybody, dude. I lied to all of you. I lied to all of you. There are piranha plants or some shit. I don't want to fuck with them. Holy moly. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl and pigs. Oh, my. Locked chest back there. Oh god, that was a horrible idea to fall down here. But hey, we got an egg out of it, so worth it. Yo, another tricky D. Give me that. All right, what do we got in here? There's a door here. I don't think we can do anything with it. I keep forgetting I can swing a weapon, man. Got all these other options, and I keep forgetting I, like like jump and run. But I can't forget I can swing a weapon like a crazy man, like a crazy little pink-haired bastard. So I was trying to think of who Tombo reminds me of, like, his look. He reminds me of a few different things. But, I don't know. Hard to say for sure, like, what that specific thing he reminds me of is. What the fuck? Where am I at now? I thought I was, like, going inside of a house. The AP box. Okay. What am I, what, um, what's happening? Hello? Oh. Okay. Is this, like, a minigame or something? Like, what's going on here? What, what's up, dude? You want to get past me? <laughs> Can you swim? I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? Uh, I guess not. I can't swim. Okay, so I can't swim. Uh, I thought so. Mr. Turtle saved you this time, but next time you may not be so lucky. You can't go past the door here unless you can swim. Trust me, you're not up to it yet. Come back after you learn how to swim. Hey, you hungry? Why don't you take this with you? Oh, thanks for the nanner, bruh. See you later. Much later. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll come back with some goddamn swimming capabilities. Got it. Interesting. What's up with this AP box, though? I don't know what AP box even means. I have so many questions, and I will have no answers today. So, yeah, we're playing Tomba. I mean, like, it's a thing. Who does Tomba remind me of? He reminds me of somebody. I'm just trying to think of who that is. From like a, probably an anime, or you know, a cartoon of anime style. Like a Yu-Gi-Oh or something, you know. He does kind of like, maybe even remind me a little of like Mako Tsunami from Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, even though he's, this guy's, he's pink haired versus Mako being blue haired, I guess. Mako blue haired, yeah. Anyway, what's this? Lessons in learning. Lesson one, active listening. If you want to talk to somebody, press the square button. Also do that if you want to read the sign. Cool. There's a pig here. Murder him. There's another pig here. Murder him too. Can I open this? Another locked chest. Alright, well I guess I'm working my way back across this way. Through Danger Town. Gotta be careful. Things be respawning up in this bitch. You know what I mean? Past this guy. I guess when you leave a screen, the fruits respawn. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa, dude, that like launched me back. No, no cool, no cool. How did I get up from here? Did I was I able to reach this? Oh, okay. I was like, I think I remember being able to reach that. Apparently, I was. Okay. Continuing on, then, shall we? Whee! Gotta make sure I can tell what's foreground, what's background. Hey, look, a tomba. I got a one up. Oh, we can climb walls. Um. Yeah. Oh God, those are spiky plants. Apparently, ow. Good to know. The things you learn by walking into it. It also seems like we're gonna be able to uh, get a new weapon at some point. The fact that it shows the spike ball up there in the top 
left there by the by the health bar makes me think this is not the only weapon we'll be getting. What? Bird gave up? After one try, Bird, you already gave up? Oh god, no, 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 he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't like it. He didn't like that I took his little, his little, his little bees natch. Come here, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Get it. So you can't kill things with that? You can only grab them and throw them to kill them? Interesting. AP. What's this? I don't... What, um, hello? I jump on you? Do I not have enough AP? What's AP? I don't even know what AP is, man. One day we'll find out. Damn, all these locked chests. Thank you, locked chests. I will bash you up in one day. 100-year-old man's hut. Save data? Sure. Apparently the signs to get, like, when you're at a place are the save points? Okay. Not something I definitely remember from playing this back when I did try it. I have 10,100 AP. Okay. I just saw that on the save menu there. There's, so there is like an AP counter that I am accumulating. It must be from just like killing enemies and stuff. I see it up in the top right sometimes it pops up. But it's not always there. Anyway, what's up, old man? How you doing? Hmm, what shall I do? <laughs> well, hello there. You're a cute little fella. Yes, I am the 100-year-old wise man. What can I do for you? I found him. Mission complete. <laughs> what can he do for me, though? Huh? Oh, sorry. My mind is preoccupied with something else at the moment. Say, would you do me a favor? You see, there is something that I, is just really bothering me. You must have seen them on your way here. The red coca birds. Those darn birds steal eggs and try to raise them as their own. I feel sorry for the cute little chicks inside the eggs. Could you go out and collect all the, the chicks from the eggs? Did I already do that? How many of them do I need to find? I got like four of them already, didn't I? Good job, you found all of them. Oh shit, nice. Don't even have to go back. Um, but where are the chicks? Oh, they're in my mouth, of course. Duh. I didn't shove them up my ass. Anyway, we got the inside the coke eggs one. Dizzy done. So these points I'm accumulating must be the AP. What? You kept them in your stomach? What else are you keeping there? Never mind, you don't need to show me. It's all right, really. Thanks to you, I have one less thing to worry about now. Ah, yes, you wanted to see me about something, right? Mm -hmm. So the coma pig stole your grandpa's bracelet, hmm? Oh, is that what the story is? <laughs> I, you can't even tell from those opening fucking cartoons. So you want to know all about the coma pigs, huh? Well, here's how the story goes. This was once a beautiful, peaceful land, until seven evil pigs came. They suddenly appeared and used their powers to change this land into an ugly world. For some reason, the evil pigs seemed to be collecting gold. I bet your grandpa's bracelet that was stolen by the coma pigs was made out of gold, too. The seven evil pigs are hiding somewhere in this world. If you find them, I'm sure you'll be able to find your bracelet as well. Just remember, be very careful. Now that's all I know about the Cobra pigs. Hopefully you can hear me because I still look really fast for being 100 years old. If you wish to achieve your bracelet, you should make some friends. They'll be a great help to you. Of course, if there's anything I can do for you, just come back here. Okay, oh, the treasures. Hmm, I seem to have lost my 100-year-old bell I was going to give to you. If you find it, return it to me, would you, even though I was going to give it to you? In place of the bell, I'll give you this, an ancient key. This old key is also 100 years old. Oh, time goes by so fast. Can it open every chest in the game? This is the only key with an open 100-year-old chest, you? Ah, yes, you also need the evil pig bags in order to find the evil pigs. Without the evil pig bags, you won't be able to find the hiding places. Go ask the dwell founder about the evil pig bags. You'll find him past the forest above here. He should be able to tell you everything you need to know about the evil pig bags. Now run along, youngster. Evil pig bags. Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Let's go find this dwarf elder, shall we? I was gonna say, how do we get above here? Never mind, that answers that question. But, but, wait a sec. I have a key, dude. I wanna go open some chests. Don't mind me, there's chests to be opened, like this chest right here. Yo, charity wings. Don't know what those are, but I have them. Um, 
You know what? Should I go back and get all the chests? I missed like three chests. I should say missed them, but I wasn't able to get them. Uh, I might wait. Let's just push forward. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. We're going to have to come back when we can swim. I think that was the only thing I passed up though, right? The thing where I needed to swim to be able to get past. Hopefully I didn't need anything from those chests. I hope. Let's just hope that we didn't and move on, shall we? Okay. Um, if I did, I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know. Also, those of you in the comments right now, if you're watching this, and you uh, let me know if you've played this game before and what your thoughts are on the matter, and obviously try to be spoiler-free as possible. Because I'm curious. How many people have played this game before? How many people even know what this is? Because it's kind of a classic at this point, you know? Classic PS1 title. They haven't really remade it. There's no been no real, like, talks of it coming back for any reason, you know? No sequels on the way or anything. Forest of 100 Flowers. Everything's at 100 in this game. Sure. Everything keeps it 100 in this game. Got the 100 year old man, got the 100 year old chest, we got the 100 year old forest, we got the 100 trees, we got the 100 fucking fucks, fucks, fucks. Anyway, let's talk to this dude over here. You. Okay. Beginner's dwarf language. Okay. I, I feel like I'm already pretty fluent if you just heard what I just said, so. You speak dwarf, tell me what I just said, I'm not sure. Hello? Are we oh oh okay. Dwarf language level one. Oh we did it. We just have to jump on his head. I got you. Huh. Give me your more language. Ah. Dwarf language level two. Oh, I should get the little door. Anyway, we're climbing piles of leaves, dude. This is actually kinda of fun. <laughs> where'd you where'd you go, dwarf man? I know I saw I saw I could have went in the house and I'm looking around. I'm climbing Oh god. Yo, I caught a leaf butterfly or something. Yay! It did it. I don't even know what that means, but it did it. Um, I'm starting to think I should probably go in that house before I go way the fuck over here. Yeah, probably. Let's just let's just work. Oh god, oh god, don't don't do that. Just yeah. Don't prick yourself, you little prick. We're okay. Everything's fine. He can walk up vertical angles. It's fine. Wait. Oh, I can't go in here? Oh, well then fuck me. Never mind on that. I'm going the right way. Here I thought I was going the wrong way. Don't land on that. Okay. <laughs> oh. Is it just a leaf butterfly is worth a thousand? It's not like a quest or anything? Watch, I say that, and then we're going to come across somebody later who's like, Give me 100 leaf butterflies. Anyway, more language, please. Gah. We already learned level 3, dude. We're so fluent, almost. I don't know what level equals fluent. Probably infinity. Level infinity, of course. Oh. Well, this is different. Welcome to a village where I can't do shit. Go to my menu. I didn't mean to do that. Uh... All right, well, let's talk to pool, pools, fools. I was Wow, you learned some of our language. But I still can't quite understand everything you're saying. I think you jump on a dwarf and bite one more, you have mastered the language. Well, where the fuck did he go? Hello? Okay. Um, I'm assuming I gotta go through here to fucking get the last of it then, because he said I had to jump on another dwarf's head to get it. So, if that is the case, we need to find ourselves another dwarf to jump on. You, teach me. Learn. Dwarf language acquired. Nailed it. Speak it fluently now. I'm probably gonna stop doing that voice with these guys, though. This is gonna kill me if I keep trying to continue that shit. Wow, you can understand the dwarf language. We have a problem and don't know what to do. The dwarf forest was cast under a spell by the evil pigs. The flowers have wilted away, and the trees have mutated. Several dwarves have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect that they might have been trapped by the giant spores and can't move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened, but the, for but the deep forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing dwarves have been found. Okay, well then we gotta go save the motherfucking dwarves. Y'all ready for this? Okay, so I 
can't jump over him. Can I go in the background? Is the background attainable? Nope. Those dwarves are just for show, and that slot machine on the other side of this guy, also just for show. For now, anyways. Okay. Let's look around the Dwarven village a little more and see what people have to say now that I have their language at my disposal. Hello. The path to the right leads to the Elder's house, but everyone's really busy. Oh. Not a single dwarf has returned yet. I'm guessing I have to help save the dwarves before I can talk to the Elder. Help, help, some dwarves are missing. We opened the doors to the hut in the forest and the path to the watchtower to go look. Okay, cool. My friend was caught by one of the spores on a tree and is just hanging there. I can't reach him. Please help him. Check out the spores that stretch when you hang from them. Okay. The kid who lives in this hut has not returned home. Sad. I'll take your shit, though. Thank you. Um, please? Can I? Mm, hello? Hello? Can I have your stuff? Uh, hello? Um, hello? Well, what a cute-looking boy you are. But I'm afraid you don't look very happy. I'm a doctor, so if you ever hurt yourself, please come. you come see me. Why don't I look happy? What do you mean I don't look happy? Your mom doesn't look happy. Shut your mouth. I look as happy as a fucking clam. Pink-haired clam. <laughs> what am I going to do without the... Uh, hello. I guess I didn't notice you walk up. If you'll excuse me, I'm trying to deal with a problem here. I had some very special... Something very special in the forest. But I'm afraid I can't go get it because of all those pigs. Oh, it's very important to me. I don't know what I'll do without it. Well, why don't you fucking tell me what it is and maybe I'll help you get it. Damn it. Have you seen a child? A small child. He want to go look for a flower seeds at the watchtower and hasn't come back. I'm really getting worried. Well, something happened. Okay. A lost child. Alright, we got another quest. I like that this is like quest based kind of. It makes me have objectives. Not a single dwarf has returned. This is the dwarf village. Some of the dwarves from the village are missing. Well then. So I hear. One more house? Anybody? Oh, there's two people in here. The dwarves are facing a big dilemma at the moment. My friends at Elder's House will be able to tell you more about it. Yeah, I know. I already learned about that. Thank you. Thank you for your concerns, but I already know what I must do. I must save the dwarves. I must save them all. Also, I can run if I hold square. Interesting. Does that count on the world area, too? Or is that just for when I'm in, like, a town area where it has the weird movement? Let's find out. I never did try to run out here, did I? No, nope, he just runs after a certain amount of time. A certain amount of space acquired. Also, these motherfuckers did not have ice cream scoops on top of them before. What the fuck? Ow. That's weird. What a weird thing. There was not ice cream on top of these before, man. Six dwarves remain. Oh, there's a dwarf under there. Well then, I'm doing the right thing, apparently. Yo, looking for dwarves in all the right places. Gotta love it. Okay, don't... Don't land on the spikes. Dude, I kind of remember this, I think. I'm pretty sure I've played it this far into the game before. I gave it at least this much of a chance. I, I kind of remember this, like, this ice cream scoop situation. I don't know why, but I just kind of remember it. Get out of here, pig boy. Nobody likes you. Dude, stop doing that. This is not easy to control. I'll just tell you that right now. It is not the easiest game in the world to control. Can I get up here and grab this? Oh, God. I want to grab that, please. Want this chest. What was that? Is that a boomerang? Where did it go? I wanted that. I didn't get to grab whatever that was, dude. What the fuck? It just fell down and I can't grab it now? Is that what you're telling me? It fell and I can't grab it. What the fuck, dude? What the actual fuck, dude? That's some horse bull. Some horse bull. Okay, so this is open. I'm gonna go through there in a sec. Wait. Actually, maybe... There's definitely more shit going on here than there was before. There's a lot of... A lot of differences in this area than there was two seconds ago when we first passed through here. Hangies. I don't know if those actually do anything. I think actually somebody should be over here because one of them was saying something about hangy... Hangy balls. Oh god. There's pigs.
pigs everywhere, dude. Get out of here, you fucker. Don't you fucking slide at me, you fucking pig. You fucking pig. I want that. Oh, there's a dwarf up there? Oh. Okay. I know there was a dwarf up there, guys. Who would have known? Not this guy. I guess I have to, like, launch it harder? I don't, I don't know if I missed the pig or not. But that pig that was down here, though, he just fucking disappeared. Whatever, dude. Get out of here, Mr. Pig. Mr. Piggles. Mr. Pigglesworth. I thought we could be friends. Wee. Oh, shit. Oh, I tried to land on his head. You fucking pig. Fucking Pigglesworth over here, bruh. We gotta make sure we launch all these. Yep, see, there's dwarves up there, dude. Gotta make sure I launch them all. Wee. Oh, God. Dude, these pigs are fucking my shit up. They're fucking my steez up, bruh. <gasps> there's a chest. <sighs> Get out of here. Yo, I got some charity wings. Yo, I got fucked up by a pig. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Don't die. Save it, quick. Save it, quickly. Alright. Actually, now that I say that, this might be a good place to stop the first episode here of Tomba. Kind of getting into this a little bit. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys are at least a little bit intrigued by this Let's Play, because I know I certainly am. Um, it shouldn't be a super long game. I looked into it a little bit to see how long of a game it is. It's kind of, you know, your standard adventure fare. It's a little longer than, obviously, something like Metroid... Uh, Super Metroid or something like that. It's like a... I don't want to say it's like a 7-ish hour game. That's my guess. It might be a little longer or shorter depending on how well I... or bad I do. Um, but anyway, that's gonna do for the first episode. Hopefully I don't get myself killed here. And, uh... In the next one, we'll uh, finish saving these dwarves, I guess. And, uh... Again, I'm interested to see your guys' opinions on this game. And those of you who voted for this, I hope you're excited. Or if you don't know, maybe you are excited for it anyways because you didn't know what it was. So either way... See you guys in the next one. Peace!